Before this video starts, I just want to say this video is for educational documentary purposes and is allowed on YouTube. We don't support false advertising inside McKamey Manor and we're here to expose it. But let's get into the video. If you missed the last episode, McKamey Manor, what people are calling the world's scariest haunted house, is threatening to sue us. In regards to YouTube, I'm telling you right now, if you use the name, if you, you use any copyright or trademark material, you will be hearing from our lawyers. And I'm starting to think that literally anything they say is just a lie. And you're going to understand in this episode literally all the lies that they've done. And you're going to be like, wait, I think you're right. I don't think they're going to sue. I don't think they have that. I don't think they have that. And one of their biggest lies that's actually very important for our series is them proving that they own a rat. Yes, a rat. And you're probably so confused. What do you mean, a rat? Russ claims he has thousands of rats that fall on you in one of his contrapments called a rat race. When you do rat race, once you find a plexiglass container full of the, the mice, the clock starts. You're gonna be in a maze. Find the key, you're gonna pull the key. Then a teeter board will flip over and release mice. Mice will then fall on you. Say, I'm a rat. I'm a rat. That's right. Ben actually went through a rat race, and what was your thoughts on it? It's a cool concept, and then the reality of it was... So every time you open that gate, it releases water. Pull. Okay, put your, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Like when he was describing it to me, it sounded really fun. And then I got there and yeah, he was just kind of standing on top of me with a hose, like spraying water in my nose. But there was no rats. Yeah, also, yeah, you're right, there was no rats. Yeah, so Rat Race is just one example of McKamey Manor being insanely falsely advertised because people are going there thinking they're going to like the craziest haunt. We're probably the most famous haunt in the world. When in reality, he duct tapes your face, puts a beanie over you and just sprays water in your face. Like, that's not a haunt. And that's just one of the reasons why there is McKamey Manor haters. I talked about in the last episode about how there's a McKamey Manor exposed group exposing all of McKamey Manor. My lovely haters and you all know who you are so before ben did mckamey manor i knew nothing about the haters and the reason why is because if russ sees that you've looked up something about a hate group or if you're a part of a hate group or if you've even talked to someone from a hate group you're not allowed to go through mckamey manor russ will tell you to go in there and spy and then more often than not we'll say well you turned and kick you out of his groups so this guy who runs the mckamey manor exposed page is named the wolf and he's making some big claims like mckamey manor doesn't even exist it's a joke, dude. there's probably not even a manner at all. It's, it's a scam, guys. It's a scam. There's and no manner. There's nothing. It's literally just his front and backyard. And that's it. It doesn't sound like he's lying, but at the same time, I'm not just going to take his word for it. So what we end up doing is going to Russ's house the day before my tour. And Ben thought it was the perfect opportunity to confront Russ about the wolf and his hate group. And because it's the day before my tour, I'm not supposed to know any of this. So I just go in the car and I just let Ben do his thing. Sometimes I do like investigative work and stuff. Right, right, right. I want to be like your secret spy and i think i can actually take him down yeah uh, take him down get down. under basically ben got in touch with the wolf and had the wolf send ben a video that he can show russ i want to show you a video he sent me i think we can actually get that group like taken down like once and for all oh that'd be great uh but this is the video he sent all right this message is for russ mckamey um there's this guy named ben that's been investigating me trying to get my hate group shut down um Look, Russ, I'll make a deal with you right now. Um, this thing has gone far enough. You want my hate group shut down? I will be more than happy to shut it down completely. I'm saying this on video. You do one thing for me, okay? Prove a piece of the manor. McKinney Manor is real. All you have to do is hold a live rat or any other kind of animal, like a snake or something like that, that you claim you have in the manor. Now, you said this publicly, that you have all these rats, you know, snakes and everything in the manor. Prove it. Just just hold one for the camera. It, it's not a secret. Everybody knows you have these animals, like you said. Just Such next a time, moron. I know. Next time um, you're doing a live video on your Facebook page, hold one up and say, look, this is a rat or a couple of rats that are actually in McKinney Manor. Because for all I know, he's just going to pull out a rat and the wolf is some crazy lunatic that yeah, just yeah. created all these lies about McKinney Manor. I'm not gaining either of their trust. I'm just trying to be the middleman so that way these two people that hate each other can talk to each other. This is a verbal contract. I think he'll actually... Oh, I I, no, he just, he just, he, he, he amuses me at this point. So, 
But uh, you can do that. I will shut down for good and you never have to hear about me again. Uh, that's my deal. I told Ben this. He's determined to shut me down. This is your chance for us. So go for it. Take him out. Yes, Take him out. It. But he has a verbal contract. I think he actually has to delete it. Like his really his one request is you like hold a rat, I guess. But, I mean, how easy is that? Yeah. But uh, I mean, it is pretty easy. Yeah. You said it was easy. Well, then why isn't he showing it, Ben? He's never been questioned like this before because everyone is scared of. Que I mean, he's been doing this for years and no one's ever questioned him. And he doesn't think I'm going to keep pressing him, but because it's never happened to him before. I kind of like him out there in a way, in a weird way, because that's where all the haters go, and we get so much ammunition from them and it's actually extremely entertaining for us because it's just it's just his double-edged sword you know he doesn't bother us well first he didn't like the haters but now he likes the haters yeah that was really weird too i think it's just the excuse of what he came up with the only thing that changed in the story was him showing a rat so before he had to show a rat he hated the haters but now that he has to show a rat he loves the haters if you're an outsider at least a rat is the biggest thing that's changing whether or not like what he's thinking which should make you think oh maybe the rats don't exist i'm kind of like a troll on the internet if that makes sense yeah so troll I'm, them I'm out like, if you can troll them out let's see let's see your troll skills he goes let's see your troll skills ben is he not familiar with our work i guess not <laughs> And then he goes back to, you know, like praise the haters again because he, he, he doesn't know what else to do because he can't show a rat. It's almost kind of it's almost kind of a, a positive thing. Yeah. Oh, OK. Well, I've just like dipped my toes and I haven't actually like gone in full yet, if that makes sense. But uh, going full on this one. Going full? Okay. Yeah, 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 going I'm full. Down. At this point when it was filmed, I didn't know who was right, the haters or McKamey Manor. After my full investigation, my conclusion at least is that out of the two sides, the haters are the ones that at least try to supply proof with all of their claims. And McKamey Manor says, oh, you just have to believe me. And if you don't believe me, then you're a hater. When you hear that, it's kind of natural to want to side with the people that supply the proof that don't accuse you of being a hater of them if you question them, you know? So McKamey Manor is claiming that they're trademarked. So if you use the word McKamey Manor anywhere, they can sue you. First off, I'm trademarked right like even using the word mckinney manor i'm trademarked right oh. so i don't go after anybody but he claims they don't go after anybody i mean he always threatens to sue but obviously he's never done it so is that the same for us or is he actually going to sue us well that's the thing is you never know with him because yeah like i just said like his girlfriend said that 99 percent of every single thing he says is a lie even when there's no reason to lie he'll just lie he said in this like big documentary that came out that he's terrified of snails he's afraid of snails stop <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. I hate creepy crawlies, man. So we want to test this and give him a snail to see how he actually reacts to it. We did bring a present for us. We got a snail. All right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> snail. There it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, no way. So it seems like anything this guy's saying is not true. Yeah. All that rumor about me and snails. See, it's a rumor. Don't believe all these rumors. Dang. So he says, don't believe the rumors, but then there's video evidence of him saying he doesn't like snails. Like, this yeah. doesn't make any sense, Ben. I think that's the whole thing with McKay Manor is of like, why does he lie about things when there's no reason for him to lie? And the best conclusion I can think of is it's a distraction from what's really going on. People haven't made videos about McKamey Manor like Ben and I are doing because they get threatened with lawsuits and then people actually believe it and then don't post about McKamey Manor because they're scared of the lawsuit. But luckily for us, we're not scared. Russ did threaten me $50,000 that if I didn't say great things about McKamey Manor and my tour, they got heat to me. Russ has said things that caused my ex to not let me see my child for a while. Russ has said some things that caused me to lose a job. Fuck you, Russ. You know, all all it was lies. I was going to be sued, sued, sued. The waiver, the NDA, everything was fake. If all this evidence is just showing that he's just lying about everything, is he really going to sue us? So if you think about it, this guy makes no money off of this. He works at Walmart. If you go to Walmart, because I work there. You got to wonder, why does he just want to torture people? I mean, that doesn't seem normal. He has PTSD. And the only time the voices go quiet in his head is when he's doing a show or when he's watching a show. That's why when someone drops out, he is so fucking desperate to fill that slot. Yeah, so Russ has that NDA contract where it says if you use the footage, you own $50,000. Ben ended up changing that contract. We changed it to $1, so that's why we can come out and talk about the secrets. I'm not going to be quiet anymore. I was quiet for a long time, and 
I'm done. I want to heal. And the only way I can is when I know that these monsters and what they did to me pay for what they did. I don't want revenge. I just want justice. I want this man to be in prison. I think that all of these people should be taken down. I think the FBI should be involved. So everyone that goes through McKimmy Manor has to do an exit video. This is one of the most exhilarating experiences of my life. I will never forget it. I just want to say, Russ, that I love you dearly. And I so appreciate you allowing me this opportunity. But then we found evidence admitting that she was forced to say this. You made me lie on my exit video saying that what happened to me was exhilarating and it was great and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so it seems like Russ is making them lie like to get people stoked about McKimmy Manor saying it's like thrilling and awesome and it's a, just a crazy experience and you should never do this. What we were doing was in fact not what was being said it is on social media. It's all about the filming and the editing of it. Yeah, basically that would destroy your whole life if you come out and say the truth and you get $250,000. That's money that she can't afford and so it's a lot easier just for her to come out and say like, oh, I love McKay Manor. Ha ha ha. This is a great experience. But yeah, really, it's just they're just getting manipulated into lying about how awesome McKay Manor was and it happens to every single person that goes through. Have you ever felt threatened in any way? Absolutely not. Nope. Being lied to was honestly the worst. Uh, being manipulated was the worst. Yeah, Russ is one of the biggest manipulators and it's strange that the moderators don't see that. Russ is by far one of the most manipulative men, even human being that I've ever come across he uses people till he uses them up till he's destroyed their friendships then he runs them in the ground i was legitimately tortured i did go to the police i did go to the authorities even in california detective shepherd unfortunately this detective shepherd was on russ's payroll and anyone and anyone that went through mckamey manor and got hurt that went to the police dealt with detective shepherd and detective shepherd made sure that he didn't do anything he made sure that we all were quiet so after i went through mckamey manor i was considered Considered a hater right away. I got blocked out of everything, but Ben still had a little bit of their trust. He was like, let's get one of the moderators, Kelly from McKamey Manor on a Facebook live call with the wolf and let's do a debate. I didn't actually want to debate the wolf. I just wanted them to both bring their points and have the other side be able to understand it. Kelly, listen to me. Be honest with me. Russ what? does not have rats at that manor. Be honest, Kelly. Do not lie. I, I mean, I don't know what's back there. I'm sure there's fucking rats back there. It's Tennessee, bro. You've been to Tennessee okay, I'm saying, before. Like, but Russ controls that. Russ actually has, and you know. I don't know. I can't answer it. I, I can't say one way or the other. I don't know. She can't even admit that there's rats. That was the best line that she can come up with because she knows there's no rats, but she can't admit it. Is it really but, bad it's lies. It's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to make. Like, the whole thing is just a bunch of lies. You guys tell right, people like, these things to get people there, and it's it's not there. Well, I think she believes in the rats. I don't think she doesn't know there's no rats. You think that the moderator, Kelly, is brainwashed. She actually is brainwashed, and she actually believes all of this. We got to figure out a way to, like, de-brainwash all the moderators because, like, dude, we need to get these moderators on our payroll start working for us and then they can start doing good things in the world kelly come work for us what would you have kelly do if you hired her i mean she's hilarious dude did you see that voicemail she sent you you seem like you're very fucking lost there's no big payoff there's no big i mean some likes on youtube big fucking deal but what specifically would you hire her to do probably just comedy in our videos she's comedy so funny videos? dude she's so funny what's the favorite joke that she said that stamping his feet i want it my way that's not the fuck how life is that was pretty funny yeah that was good yeah maybe she could be a writer kelly we're brainstorming hit us up so now Ben's questioning Kelly about the 200 page contract that I talked about on my last episode when I was just exposing all of Russ's fake things that he claims he has. That 100% he does not have. The whole thing is set up for Russ's entertainment, not yours. The entire waiver is a joke. Uh, the waiver even states that you could be thrown from an airplane. So now Ben's talking about one of the things in the contract. The zipline thing was fake though, right? I haven't done it, so I don't know. He said he has a two-mile zip line. We did look up the largest zip line in the United States, and because you have to legally register once you have a big zip line, and it's only a mile long. And we called them, and they said they weren't. Uh, they had no clue who Russ McCain I was, but oh, okay. I mean, that's what else do you need to say. <laughs> 
Dude, you fully stumped her on that one. She didn't even know what to say. Well, I think she's just hearing this information for the first time. So like, she obviously doesn't have a response prepared, you know? Yeah, but we definitely stumped her though. She's probably like, wait, is Ben and the wolf telling the truth? The only response that she can come up with. I told you exactly what I've said here today. If you go ahead and start putting stuff up on YouTube, that's trademarked or copyrighted, we're gonna send our legal team towards you. No saying McKay and Man are in any of our uh, YouTube videos. No. Okay. You can't. If they're trademarked McKay Manor, then we're not allowed to start our own McKay Manor company. So I just went ahead and did exactly that. I created my own company called McKay Manor. You can visit us at www.mckaymanor.org. Go to mckaymanor.org. <laughs> did you guys do this? <laughs> Dude, that's fucking amazing. Oh my God, there's Ben with the rat. We're selling a bunch of rat themed things, which he claims he has thousands of rats in his house. What's the legal loophole? Because you own mckaymanor.org? Well, this doesn't protect us from getting sued. This is actually just more of a reason for him to sue us. Ah. Okay, fine. And to, to back that up, we bought McKay Manor LLC. No way. <laughs> yeah. So now we told the moderator, Kelly, that we have just created our own company called McKay Manor. That's a big trademark issue right there because the- Then, yeah, you guys just show a rat and then you guys will sue the heck out of us. Well. Because then we would be, then, then we'd be copying you guys, so. I don't know if we're gonna do all of that. So now that we've made it this easy for you guys, now you guys don't wanna sue us? Ben? Well, it kinda sounds like earlier in the video when we were like, they were like, oh, we hate the haters. Oh, just show a rat. Okay, oh, now we love the haters. And then I was kinda just making the same point here where it's like, we're gonna sue you. And then I'm like, okay, show a rat, it'll be easy. And they're like, oh, now that we have to show a rat, we don't wanna do it anymore. It seems like every single time it comes down to the rat, like every time we bring up a rat, they just completely 180 on their opinion. Because like I said, Russ claims he has all these animals and he doesn't, it's all fake. So we've been investigating McKamey Manor for a bit now, and a good amount of people are watching our videos. And one person in particular that reached out was Russ's filmer, Cecil. Hey, everybody. And he was there during my tour, and he didn't like me very much, but it was actually super funny, and I, I enjoyed it. You haven't got there yet. What can you not understand? This is the big boy tour. This is the big boy tour. So the point of this is Cecil actually reached out to us. We got on a FaceTime call, and this is what he had to say. I just wanted to clear my name that I've left everything. I promise you, I, I am no longer part of it. I don't want to be a part of that shit no more. I'm not in the group. I'm not on the page. I'm not nothing. Actually, my kids have seen what y'all YouTube and they seen me on there and they are really, really, well, they just really disowned me right now at this point. It's really caused me a lot of family problems. I really want my kids back. I really want my relationship back with my kids. Yeah, basically his kids stopped talking to him because they saw what our videos of like what's really happening at McKay Manor and they were like, we don't want any part of our dad because of what he's participating in. And he said it's completely lost connection with his kids. And so he really just wants to send a message to his kids that he's not with McKay Manor anymore and he just wants his family back. And also I think he kind of didn't really know what actually goes on there. So I think he's yeah. a little like, oh, I'm just here to film and have a good time. Like, I don't think he knew. But after after watching our series, I think he's understanding and I think he's yeah. actually really happy he's out now. So there's something we've been keeping a secret from you guys. So there was actually another clause in the NDA contract that Ben and I changed. So the first thing was that we owe Russ McKamey $50,000 if we use the footage and Ben ended up changing it to $1. But there was actually one more clause. It yeah. says that Russ McKamey legally has to get pizza with us. And the only reason for that is because when Ben did his tour, he asked Russ this. So uh, yeah. pizza? Yeah, we can meet up someplace. And then I think he thought about it for like 30 seconds and then changed his mind. I'll have to, I'll have to say no tonight for me. Unfortunately. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so Ben was pretty upset with that. He wanted to get pizza with Russ. So Ben just thought it'd be pretty funny to add it into my NDA contract that now he's legally obligated to get pizza with us. You want to get pizza with I us? am, Chris. No. Take a, take a rain check. I appreciate it. Nice. And then we had to call him out this time because, like, it's legally binding that he has to get pizza with us. Didn't you sign that we're getting pizza, though? Is it, like, legally... Contracting that we have to get pizza afterwards? I don't think it's legally contracting to get pizza. I mean, 
It all depends on how the situation went, but I'm just not in a pizza mood right now. No, you well, understand, right? We changed, uh, we added an extra clause in Danny's little contract that said, because uh, you denied pizza afterwards, he said, I agree that I will get pizza with Ben and Danny after Danny's store. <laughs> so legally, we got to get pizza. Uh, oh, maybe later on, guys. Maybe later on. Right later now, on? I got. Right now, I gotta just kind of chill out. Do you think he's saying that because he's a little confused at this point? Because like, I don't think he read the contract and knew that we changed it. Yeah, but he did sign it, and I think he's talking about like he's like, oh, even though I am contractually, I think he's trying to like talk his way out of it. Like, oh, maybe you guys can let this one slide because I don't feel like I'm in the pizza mood. We're little sticklers, aren't we? And we're like, that's a breach of contract if you don't get pizza with us. There you go. That's my breach what? of contract. What? We gotta, we gotta get pizza. It's legally yeah, it, it says in the contract. So I think we fully stunned him. Like, he, he didn't even know what to say. Like I said, we're always one step ahead yeah, of Russ. Like, and like, no normal person would laugh about breaching contract. It's not a laughing matter. Like, he did something very, very illegal by not getting pizza with us. And he's just laughing it off. So you can tell he's confused. Because that's no laughing matter that he just completely went against contract. And it just kind of got awkward after that. So then he was just like... All right, gents. Dang. Oh, you're going to you're break contract and not get pizza? Not today. Not today. Not today. Okay. All right. Sad. There you go. Yep. See you later, guys. All right. See, See you later, later, guys. This is only the beginning of us trying to get Russ to have pizza with us. We're not giving up, Russ. You are going to have pizza with us, even if you like it or not. It's going to happen. Yeah, even if he doesn't like it, he's going to get pizza with us. Yeah. yeah. We're going to make sure he likes it, though, because we're going to get his favorite flavor. We'll pay for it. We'll treat him. It'll be very... He, he is going to like it. But even yeah. if he doesn't like it, he's still going to get pizza. Yeah, but we're going to leave it on a cliffhanger. Even for if the he doesn't want to talk, I will get silent pizza with him, and that counts, too. But... Oh, yeah. We So let's just practice. You're Russ. Just imagine it's me and you right here. Oh, yeah. It's going to eat pizza. Wow, this is good pizza. Really good. Yep. If that happens, we're cool with that as well, Russ. So if you guys watch this video all the way through, I think you can understand that basically everything about McKamey Manor is a lie. But I mean, we're not done. We have so much more stuff. I know in the last episode, I gave a little cliffhanger already, but I'm gonna say it again. We send in a fan to go undercover inside McKamey Manor. Come on, Jackson, you got this. We fly him out there. Russ has no idea that he's working for us. We're always one step ahead of Russ. Ben is screen recording the tour. Jackson's the one that's going right now. And then like three weeks later, we send in another fan undercover to go do McKamey Manor. Off my property now. Take me through rat race, Russ. You're probably confused. Why am I in a Speedo? Why is he saying get off my property? Well, let's just say everything we did was completely legal and you're just gonna have to wait for the episodes to come. Russ works at Walmart. We gave him a visit there. Like, we basically go on a search for something that Russ 100% does not want out there because it's like the nail in the coffin to shut him down for good. This series is just the beginning. Russ, you're not gonna want what's coming next. We can resolve this though, if you have pizza with us, but I mean, that's your loss if you don't. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to Reckless Ben to see his version of the series as well. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Wait, Peace. Danny, you forgot something really important. What, what I miss? So the biggest thing that the audience is gonna like want to see is that we and you are fools go hey Ben and Danny are you out there watching I bet you'll get this so